Months after being found in her car on the side of the road, the death of a 27 year old mother remains a mystery. Natalie Jones's body was found in October after she was reported missing three months earlier. Joe Hankey talked to the sheriff's office today about why this case has been so hard to crack. Natalie Jones was last seen alive on 4th of July weekend 2020. Three months later on October 6th, this is where her body would be found inside her hot pink Chevrolet Cavalier near Franklin, Georgia, in the intersection of Welcome and Roosterville Road. Based on the evidence that we obtained, we believe the car was there the whole time she was missing. Today, Lieutenant Dan Boswell with the Heard County Sheriff's Office said investigators believe Jones's body was in the car the entire time. Last week, the GBI finished an autopsy and other tests and sent the results to the Heard County Sheriff's Office. A statement released by the Sheriff's Office reads, the death investigation, autopsy, and toxicology testing of Natalie Jones did not reveal a clear cause of death. There was no trauma or, or any, any indications of foul play uh, to her. Boswell said the investigation into Jones's death is still considered open and active. And while he's received many tips from the public since last July, none of them have helped solve the case, but he continues to ask for the public's help. Actual knowledge of, of, of her death, yes, absolutely. If they could come forward, that would be appreciated. Somebody has to know something out there. She didn't just disappear on her own by herself just out of nowhere. In July, we interviewed Jessica Bishop, Jones's sister. Bishop said when her sister went missing, all activity on her social media and bank account stopped. The sheriff's office previously confirmed Jones was last seen in Jackson Gap, Alabama before 1 a.m. on July 5th, along with her car. How her car ended up in a wooded area and how she died, though, are questions the sheriff's office is still unable to answer. And the Heard County Sheriff's Office is asking for anyone with information that they believe could help solve this case to come forward. We have contact information for the investigator handling this case inside this story right now on 11alive.com. Joe, thanks a lot.